Hello, let's discuss about Malad Aspartate Shuttle. Malad Aspartate Shuttle is a mechanism that used to transfer uh, this nucleotide, nicotinamide adenide nucleotide, through the inner membrane of mitochondria, through the inner membrane of mitochondria, because the inner membrane of mitochondria is impermeable to such kind of nucleotide. So, first of all, we reduce oxaloacetate into malate under the enzyme known as cytosolic malate dehydrogenase, where two hydrogens are reduced to this carbon double bond oxygen to form carbon hydro, hydro, hydroxyl group hydrogen, which is malate. Then malate is transferred, first of all, through the, the, the outer membrane of mitochondria, then the inner membrane of mitochondria inside the mitochondrial matrix, where inside the mitochondrial matrix, the malate is going to be oxidized again into oxalo oxaloacetate so by using that positive which is going to remove this hydrogen and this one so as to form nitro nicotinamide then nicotinamide the nucleotide hydrogen plus water hydrogen ion is not H is going directly to the electron transport chain so as to contribute formation of three ATP molecules three ATP molecules and the reaction is enabled due to presence of certain kind of enzyme known as myton mitochondrion mitochondrion malate mitochondrion malate D hydro dehydrogenase dehydrogenase then after introduction of oxaloacetate after the introduction of oxaloacetate inside the mitochondrial matrix after introduction uh, introduction of oxaloacetate inside the mitochondrial matrix inside the mitochondrial matrix and at the same time from this side glutamate glutamate is an amino acid glutamate with amino acid is normally introduced inside mitochondrial matrix from cytoplasm or cytosol of the cell inside the mitochondrial matrix inside the mitochondrial matrix then Then what is going to happen is the combination of oxaloacetate, combination of oxaloacetate with glutamic acid under presence of an enzyme known as amino transferase, amino transferase, then amino transferase, this amino acid uh, amino transferase or the enzyme amino transferase enabling these amino acid glutamate to exchange the amino group from what a group glutam, glutamate to oxaloacetate then the oxaloacetate will change to be aspartate Asper, aspartate will change to be aspartate uh, will change to be aspartate will change to be an aspartate while glutamic glutamate will change to be alpha keto alpha keto gluta glutarate alpha keto glutarate change to be alpha keto gluta glutarate after the removal of amino group then aspartate is going to be introduced inside the cytosol alpha keto gluta rate layer asper aspartate alpha keto gluta rate alpha keto gluta rate 
and uh, here an aspartate uh, which is it's an amino acid written like this then under the same type of enzyme under the same type of enzyme amino amino transferase amino trans series again the trans of amino group from aspartate to oxaloacetate the uh, amino group from what aspartate to alpha ketoglutarate then the alpha ketoglutarate after being what introduced the amino group from aspartate will be glutamate and the aspartate will change to be an oxaloacetate so the cycle will keep will be keeping on recycling keeping on recycling but i like uh, I like glycerophosphate shuttle. Malate aspartate shuttle contributes to ATP molecules while uh, glycerophosphate shuttle contributes only to ATPs from FADH, the same as cisnate dehydrogenase. Thank you for listening. Make sure that you subscribe to the video.